Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest core set, Yu-Gi-Oh's Phantom Nightmare. Uh, another quarter century rare set. Got some big ticket items in it. And then got a few ultras again, just like the last one with Bonfire and Maze of Millennia that was Cosmo Monster. We got Snake Ash Poplar, uh, another pyro type card that is just causing, you know, a shakeup of the meta again. Uh, and then a few new archetypes as well. So let's jump into it, get through these. We won't do any pack tricks or anything fancy. And just uh, see what we get. Value kind of drops off outside of a few cards, so nothing big um, beyond kind of the big ticket items. But uh, there, there are some good chase ones here. We got a new uh, colon P monster as well, <laughs> as I'll call them. Uh, Nightmare Pain. Meow mine is what what it is, but it's E M P Meow Mine White Reincarnation. It's gotta be an awkward name for a card. Got some uh, videos coming up. We got a Chaos Impact box. We're gonna be looking for speaking of colon P monsters, <laughs> as we'll call them. Gonna be looking for we got the Black Goat Laughs as a secret rare. That's one of the better secret rares in the set. And then we got Sebek, Flock Together, Shallows Calgary, and Moko Moko as well. But I'm gonna be looking for that Starlight Rare Mascarena, which is one of my favorite cards. And it's a first edition box and I got it for a good price. So either got scammed or uh, just got a good deal on it. Master of Ham, pretty cool looking card there. Uh, we got Spirit of Yubel, Yubel. Uh, and then Aroma Blend, Earthbound Fusion, and Berserk Archfiend there as well. But I'm going to be opening up that. Speaking of Yubel, I've got a Legendary Collection 2 box as well that I have just never opened. I need to get that opened up as well here. Oh, we skip right to Raid Raptor. Raid Raptor Brave Strix. And then a few more here. But I got to get that open. And then kind of probably want to do a state of the channel, like a state of the union. We got an Ashen for Eternity, Mature Chronicle, Dark Element. Ah, we'll just go right to Raid Raptor, Rising Rebellion Falcon. That is a ultra, not a big ticket one there. Mystic Potato, the Potat. But... I'm looking, obviously, I don't do this as a day job, but I love opening packs, and like I, I can't open packs every day. I don't get boxes every day, um, but I've been accumulating boosters, either blister packs or the little sleeved uh, boosters. We got King of the Ashen City. There's a super, and been thinking about doing just like a series where I do like one pack a day, Maybe do some shorts uh, for that. That way I can, you know, fulfill my desire to share. One, to open packs. I, enjoy, I mean, I love opening packs. That way I can open a pack and, you know, not have to open up and try to get booster boxes, obviously, um, and whatnot. But I love sharing videos with you guys, sharing openings and everything. And it's like, well, I can't. I don't, you know, it's not my day job, obviously. Um, and it's not like I'm not like Ruxin's channel or from the other big opening channels like, you know, Pokemon side like Poker Rev and whatnot that do it day in and day out and, and bring tons of big openings. But I'd, I'd like to be able to at least share a video a day. Uh, so I'd kind of like to challenge myself to do a pack a day opening. And I've been. Over the past uh, few months, just accumulating blisters here and there uh, and, and other sleeved packs, uh, trying to give myself a better chance of building up the supply. And I've, I've gotten to a point where I have a good enough supply. I could probably start doing that for quite some period of time um, rather than just doing it from spare booster boxes. And the thought being that it's at least if they're from blister packs or sleeve boosters there might be a little bit more odds than 
you know, four ultras a pack or whatever, the, uh, or four ultras a box kind of thing. So, and plus it would just, you know, it's, it's something out there and it builds some consistency and you always hear consistency is the, the driving force of YouTube or of a creator and, you know, and my goal or, or my state as, as a creator on YouTube is to share the hobby. Like I enjoy collecting the cards and I'll tell you that, you know, day in and day out. And, you know, I know a lot of people, hey, another Ashton City King. Um, we'll tell you, you know, you'll hear everyone like, how you make money on YouTube, how you do this, how you do that. You'll see so many of those like videos, those clickbait. Here's how I made a thousand AI videos in the span of 30 minutes. Here's how I made $1,000, you know, with seven videos. And, and, you know, there's always a time and place to make money on YouTube. I had nothing against people who, you know, set out to do that. But, oh yeah, we got EMP Meow Mine. Uh, just the ultra rare version. Centering looks kind of bad, but I like Meow Mine. I think this is a great card. And it goes well with some of the, uh, obviously with Mascarena. Uh, obviously the kind of looks a little bit off center down there, but I like that card. And so, like, I mean, a lot of people, you know, set on YouTube to make money. And, you know, I, I think that there's a difference between wanting to do something to make a profit, make, make it your own business, make it your enterprise, and do it because you love it. And people burn out when they try to set it out to be the profit-making enterprise. Like at Arsenal, is just a super rare. But if you don't enjoy it, you burn out and you have nothing to do. I probably enjoy opening packs too much, but I also don't have tons of booster boxes for it. But I want to open more and bring more to you guys. My goal as a YouTube creator is always just to share the hobby, but also like I'd love, I, I, revenue, whatever, doesn't make a difference. I don't ever see this being a, a, a job. It doesn't make a difference. I'd love to be able to get a silver play button. I'd love to get a gold play button. Does that ever happen? Maybe. But I, I think you have to have some degree of consistency of content creation, which is kind of also part of my challenge of wanting to do something more, is to do something to show that like, hey, I can do this day in and day out a little bit. It's not going to be long form videos every day, but it'll be something to be consistent. And, and that's what the, the main point of it would be. Oh, Awakening of Vados, an ultra rare. Yeah, not a big ticket one there, but yeah, kind of the state of what I'm, what I've been thinking um, as I've been, and, and this has been kind of a few months along the way um, coming along. This idea was to just do kind of one pack a day as a short, maybe do like a challenge of like keeping tabs, mile markers of you know. I don't I don't know what that would be yet, but keeping tabs of mile markers along the way. We got Aromalith Rosemary, but keeping tabs along the way of, you know, you know, sub counts, sub goals, et cetera. And, you know, the, between these X number of subs, the packs I opened, the pulls were worth, you know, 20 bucks. Maybe I got a bad streak. Maybe I got a hot streak, you know, and they were worth more than that. Something, something cool along the lines. To do it that way we got six moonlight of the goatee and then we got Sebek, the sorcerer and then i would still do also my booster box openings like this long form openings uh 
and wherever I find other things. Glorious Bright, we got the secret rare, Low Prayers of the Voiceless Voice. It's a good secret, so we'll sleeve this one up. It is not the best secret rare. It is a great quarter century rare, though. Uh, if this was a quarter century hit, that would have been big time. A quarter century rare of this is going like 250 or something like that. Insane. But I'm pretty sure I burned out some of my luck on uh, big hits on the last video for sure. We got Dark Guardian. We got Rise Up, Rank Up. Rise, Rank Up, something like that. There were a lot of words on that card. All right, Master of Ham. We got Goblin Biker Boom Mock, Ashen for Eternity, Hero of the Ashen City, Emergency of Port, which is just gonna be like Emergency Teleport. But, you know, just for give you a rundown, kind of back to the video, this concept I got going on. Like I'm sitting on, like, I think about like 190 emptied out blisters. We got Skull Guardian, Protector of the Voiceless Voice. It's a new ritual monster. Pairs well with, uh, with the old Low over there. If you take a read of her effect, she helps make ritual monsters not as useless. Like I said, I, I've been working on this plan for a while. I, I don't have everything worked out, but I've at least been working out the uh, the acquisition part of it pretty well. Magic Spectre Wind is just a super rare. And then Goblin's Crazy Beast. Let's see what that was. We got Materialization, Three-Eyed Ghost. Terrors of the After Root is a super rare, which we just managed to skip through. It seems like these uh, core sets, last pack, I had such difficulty pulling the cards apart. Aroma Healing, White Aura Porpoise, Royal Rhino with Deceitful Dice, looks like he's flipping me off. We got Dramatic Snake Eye Chase, and Aroma Lith Magnolia as our last foil card of the set. So we got some good pulls. We got low. We got the black goat laughs, which I did not sleeve up at the time. We got black goat laughs. We got skull guardian. There's low for us. Awakening of Vados is not that great of a card. Uh, probably won't waste the sleeve on that. I think Meow Mine is great. Obviously, I would like the secret, uh, or quarter century rare, sorry. Um, but, does well with Masquerana and Masquerana themes. Even though they're criminals in lore. So, I appreciate you guys stopping in. Stay tuned for the start of the video. I'll, I'll probably start those up here in the next uh, few days. Uh, but I appreciate you guys stopping in, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.